What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something that you like here today, please don't forget to subscribe at some point. For those of you stopping by that have been in before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So today I was thinking we'd talk about some fragrances. Shocker, right? So I was thinking about what to do for today and it dawned on me, you know, why not discuss what in my opinion, disclaimer, this is my opinion, I would consider the best versions of some of the most classic men's fragrances. What do you think? Stay tuned. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. So starting off with a timeless classic is actually from Calvin Klein. It's the original Eternity, the Eau de Toilette. Now it spawned tons of flankers. It's a classic barbershop fougere style fragrance. Very great. Very, very good even to this day. Very cheap, but is can be a little dated and is kind of nostalgic for some. Like for me, that was like my dad's go-to fragrance, very nostalgic for me. I do have a bottle, I don't really wear it, I just kind of have it to have it. But when it comes to what I feel is the best version of it, I do like this one for sure. I'll smell it. Ah, just a greener, stronger version. Eternity Eau de Parfum, 2019 release from last year. This was in my spring list. This, in my opinion, is the best version. They have many good flankers. I haven't tried Flame. I've heard that one's pretty good, a real good amber fragrance. Um, I haven't tried the Intense, which has a little iris in it. I do have one of the annual summer flankers, which I find is generic, but still a good, easy wear. There's a lot of flankers available for this. But in my opinion, if you're gonna get one version of Eternity, just one, the best one in my opinion is absolutely the EDP concentration. It dials back the lavender a little bit. It's still there. The DNA is ever so present. It's still eternity at the end of the day, but the green notes, the color of the juice is very fitting. The greenery, the cypress and stuff like that is really heightened and amped up in this. So it's great for the spring and the fall in my opinion. And they perform very well on my skin. I wanna smell it again. Man, God, that cypress just really jumps out at me. So in my opinion, the absolute best version of Calvin Klein Eternity is Calvin Klein Eternity, the Eau de Parfum. Now, when it comes to this one, the original release, I want to say it was 1974 for Givenchy Gentleman, the original. Now, they do have the re-release that's kind of a bluish take with a little iris in it. It's kind of a mass, appeal, mass appealing type of fragrance, really. I do have it. Um, I, I do enjoy that thoroughly, but in my opinion, you know, there's several flankers. There's the gentleman only line that spawned off a gentleman, and then there's the gentleman line. And in my opinion, if you're going to get just one, I think Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum. Same thing as dealing with the Eternity line. The Eau de Parfum concentration, in my opinion, is the best version, and I feel the same here. Now, granted, this does not smell like the Eau de Toilette and does not smell anything like the vintage original from what the note breakdown shows me. I've never smelled the re-release of the 1974. Like I said, I have the new version of Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Toilette. But this is just such a damn good fragrance. If you're gonna get one from the line, this is definitely the one to get. As long as you like sweet resins and Oris, essentially Iris. It's kind of in the realm of your Diorome Intenses without being quite as loud, but still having some of the longevity that goes along with it. Very elegant fragrance. Maybe a little less elegant than Diorome Intense. Don't get me wrong, it still can dress up easy. But just a beautiful smell. It's just the right amount of projection without being too much or too little. And like I said, it lasts a very long time and it just smells beautiful. In my opinion, this is the best smelling one. Now, I haven't smelled every single one but I do have cologne. I do have the re-release of the Eau de Toilette, and I forgot which one, which other one I have. Um, I have Gentlemen Only, which is you know spawned on a separate line, but similar. Um, but in my opinion, this is definitely the best version. If you're going to get one from the Givenchy Gentleman line, in my opinion, go with the Eau de Parfum. It smells the best to me. Next, this one could spawn a bit of a debate with my choice here. Some are going to completely agree with me. 
And some are going to say, man, I like the intense more. The intense is the best. I know that's coming. And that's fair. I get it. But like I said in the beginning, this is my opinions from my taste and what I think. You know, your opinion may differ from mine, and that's totally okay. It's all subjective. But a timeless classic at this stage is Dior Homme. You know where I'm going with this already. Dior Homme in itself is amazing. It really is. It's a fantastic fragrance. One that everybody should try, in my opinion. Came out in 05 initially, but in my opinion, not the intense. But the Parfum is the best version of Dior Homme. It's for me, don't get me wrong. I love the intense too. Got a big five ounce bottle of it, but I also have two 75 mLs of this. Got two five, five ounces worth, basically. Oh, man. My God, is this a good fragrance. Just floating in the air. This is one of my favorites. Recently, FragranceNet restocked some of these. After the 35% off coupon code, they wanted 184. Yeah, it's like that to get these now. Even from FragranceNet, it's almost $200. I don't know if they still have them. I doubt that sold out quick. Prices have skyrocketed to get this bad boy. Purchase at your own risk. I mean, it's worth the money. It's just well over retail at this point. If you're willing to pay resale, it's a phenomenal fragrance. And in my opinion, it's the best version of Dior Homme. And I love all of them. I really do. I like Dior Homme O, the Intense, the Original, all the sports, the Cologne. It, you know, they, they're all great. This is the best version, in my opinion. Now, another classic fragrance that actually people tend to complain in the comments that I never talk about because I don't have it. I've smelled it many times. I've had a couple of coworkers over the years that have had it and kept it in their desk. I mean, I've sprayed it on myself many times. I just never bought myself a bottle. Um, but we're talking about Issey Miyake Pour Homme, a beloved, classic, timeless fragrance, really. But in my opinion, I like the darker version. I like the more intense, basically, pour home intense. In my opinion, it's a better version. It performs a lot better. It works across all seasons better. Don't be wrong, the original, timeless classic. Never gonna knock it. The yuzu's still plentiful in here, papyrus. Really stands out, the incense darkens it up just enough. And it performs great on my skin. This is great in the winter. And if you go easy on the trigger, this is great in the summer too. You can wear it year round. And like I said, it's just more powerful. I smell it floating in the air right now. It just smells so good. And you can get them so cheap. 4.2 ounce like this. 25, 24 ish dollars all over on the internet. eBay, Amazon, FragranceNet, FragranceX. Just right in that $25 range for a big bottle. And it's worth every penny. This is really good stuff. This was on my winter cheapy list, actually. Damn good fragrance, especially year round. And in my opinion, if you're going to get one, the best version of Issey Miyake Pour Homme and all its flankers, it's Issey Miyake Pour Homme Intense. This is yet another one that can spawn debate because there was different formulas for different years. Obviously, we're talking about Dior again. So a timeless classic fragrance that was re-released with its original formula, maybe not its original performance, but its original formula, was Dior Eau Sauvage, the Eau de Toilette. So they have a few different flankers. They have the Cologne version. They've had some you know, early 2000s flankers, the Glacon or Glaçon version, however you want to say that. Uh, the one with the cooling effect. And there was another one, uh, a fresh leather. I forgot the name of it. Uh, it's got the brown label. Haven't tried those. That's the two I haven't tried. I have all the rest, and I have a decant of the 2012 Parfum, but in my opinion, the 2017 Parfum is the way to go. The Extreme's good, too. They're all good. They're really good fragrances. It's a great line. Dior does good work. But in my opinion, this is just such a fresh, soapy, clean vetiver to go with the Elemy and the lemon up top, and it's just so good. So good. Actually, I think it's Citron, I'm sorry. Um, not lemon. Lemon's in the original. This is so good. The 2012, there's an argument for that. The myrrh darkens it up. It's a darker color juice. It's more barbershop 
than this even is. The, the lavender is more prominent in that one, I find, than it is in this. This is more on the soapy lavender side of it than the soapy, I mean the soapy vetiver side of it versus the soapy lavender side of the 2012. So this is a debate to go either way. But in my opinion, if you're only going to get one from the Eau Sauvage line, you need to get the Parfum. The performance is next level. If you go easy on it, you can wear this one in the summer. I probably wouldn't do more than two sprays outside in this heat. But as far as the rest of the year, three, four sprays, because it's very powerful, you don't need a lot. And it's definitely the best version. Next, another classic fragrance is Armani Code. You know, it's beloved. It's been reformulated, as have most originals at this point. Um, so it doesn't perform as well as it used to, but it still smells great. And it's spawned, yet again, tons of flankers. And there's a lot of ways to go here, but my favorite, in my opinion, if you're going to get an Armani Code fragrance, you need to get Armani Code Profumo. Yes, Absolute is good. Yes, I really enjoy Colonia. I have A-List, and it, it goes on and on. Armani Mania, and they got so many sports and Code Ultimate, which I've been wanting to get a bottle of. But in my opinion, it's hard to beat this one. For the scent, the performance, the compliment factor, it's just so, so good. <sighs> Without being overly sweet. See, I find that adding the extra vanilla with the Tonka bean that Absolute has, it's a little too sweet. Very situational for me. Whereas this can be a daily driver if you want it to be in cooler weather. I think if you're just going to get one Armani code, I think you need to look at Profumo. That's my opinion. If I had to get rid of the ones I have, I have four of them, and could only keep one, it would have to be the Profumo. Because, like I said, across the board, it checks all the boxes for me, and it's not as sweet as Absolute. Once again, Armani code, Profumo. So, I haven't had a bottle of the original in a long time. Polo Blue, the Eau de Toilette. Been a long time since so I've had it. Calvin Klein Eternity Aqua. Very, very close smell. And it spawned a ton of flankers. You have your gold blend. You have Ultra Blue, which I do have a bottle of. You have the Eau de Parfum. And then you have what, in my opinion, is the way to go as long as you like Ambroxan. And that's Polo Deep Blue Parfum, the most recent release. This is a fantastic fragrance. As long as you like Ambroxan. It's like taking Dior Sauvage and mixing it with Polo Blue, and you get Polo Deep Blue Parfum. I get great performance out of it. I get a compliment every time I wear the damn thing. It smells great to my nose, and it performs really well. It's kind of a greenish and bluish type of fragrance. You have the cypress note. You have the Polo, Deep, the Polo Blue DNA, as well as the Ambroxan. If you like Ambroxan and blue fragrances... You'll love this one. I like those types of fragrances. I like mass appealing stuff, as do a lot of people. Don't me wrong, I like my more artistic niche fragrances, but I love a real good blue designer as well. You know, because I work in a setting where it just works. I wore Dylan Blue at the recording of this video. I had wore Dylan Blue as my scent of the day. Kind of doing a mass appealing fragrances week. And in my opinion, this almost made the cut for the rotation. I actually planned out some other fragrances, but it's really, really good. And I'm glad, happy to talk about it in this video and get to smell it because in my opinion, if you're gonna get one Polo Blue, this is the best version, Polo Deep Blue Parfum. Now these last three should be no surprise to you when I say what fragrance is the, the classic. So Aqua Di Gio, Giorgio Armani. Profumo, no doubt. To me, best version. And I like them all. I really like Absolute a lot. And I really think Absolute Instinct is fantastic and does not get a fair shake. Not enough people have tried that. Not enough people wear it. I think Profumo is the best bar none. And that's just my opinion. I wore this one last week. Fantastic fragrance. I've heard rumors of discontinuation. I've heard all the reformulation stuff. Get a bottle, enjoy it. Don't worry about all that stuff. Yes, it's pricey for a designer. You can find a little bit better prices from discounters here and there, eBay, testers, things like that. As long as you do your research and find the right places to buy from. Because I had bought this one as a tester, 75 ml tester a while back. It's a little pricey, but it's worth every penny to me because it's so versatile. 
and really works well off of my skin. Very long, projects very heavy for the first couple of hours. I think without a shadow of a doubt, this is the best version of Aqua de Joe, which is a timeless classic that sold more bottles than anything else ever. And Profumo is definitely the best version of it. Another one of my personal favorites, the original Boss Bottled. Another one spawned tons of flankers. I have a bunch of them. Infinite, for example, I really enjoy. Uh, Boss Bottled Night, one that not, not that many people are a fan of. I think smells great. The Violet, the Soapy Lavender, mixed with that birch to darken it up just a little bit. It's a beautiful fragrance. But in my opinion, I have others. In my opinion, if you're going to get one, as much as I love the original, I still think, bang for your buck, you got to get the Intense Eau de Parfum. It's deeper, it's richer, it performs better. Much as it pains me to say, but at the same time, if you're going to get one, this is, this is the best version of it. It performs, and it's not as sharp. It's smoothed out versus the original, and I love the original. That is a keeper for me. Always has been. I've had many bottles of that over the years. But, like I said, for argument's sake, if I'm telling you, hey man, if you're going to get a Boss bottled, this is the one to get, I'm, I got to be honest with you. If I'm recommending to somebody, I'm not going to recommend the original. Unless you're looking for what that benefit, the benefit is of having that one, because it's fresher, it's lighter, works better with a suit in my opinion. That's my main use for it. But for every other occasion, this just performs better. It's a couple dollars more. It's the best version, Boss Bottle. And last but not least, probably the most featured summer fragrance on my channel this year. I'm wearing it in the next day or so, actually. I talk about this one a lot because I really enjoy it. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. A lot of great flankers, the original. Fantastic. If it performed better, this wouldn't even be a discussion. It would be the original. But since it doesn't perform as well as this one, oh, intense. Definitely the best version of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. If you're going to get one, might as well get the one that performs. Don't get me wrong, the original has its uses, especially when you don't need 8 to 10 hours of performance and you don't need it to be super loud. You're in a more in intimate situation in hot weather. The original will work just fine. It smells better. Than the intense to me but not not better not enough to where i would say get that one because this performs so much better like i said i've featured this in more videos than any other fragrance this season and that's because i'm just a firm believer in this fragrance it's great for the money it's not real expensive there's a lot of flankers don't get me wrong sun great but i wouldn't recommend it over oh intense oh intense definitely the best version. Well, that was my 10 picks, guys. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. You know, there's a lot of others that could have went in this video, but I felt like that was the main ones that really needed to be discussed. Um, your opinion may differ from mine. I, like I said, there's a couple of them where I know the route a lot of people are going to take. Instead of Diorome Parfum, it'll be Diorome Intense. Instead of Armani Code Profumo, it'll be Armani Code Absolute or Ultimate, because I've heard Ultimate's great. Do want to get a bottle of that and uh what's another one that would be a good argument i'm sure uh that's probably the main two really and truly i don't think the other ones i'll really get too much grief in the comments about but uh definitely a fun list to put together i hope you enjoyed the video and until next time guys i will say if you get your hands on any of the ones discussed here today you give them a spray now i am very confident you might thank me later because they're the best versions of the originals in my opinion. Have a good one, guys. Repeat, this is not a drill.